The Detroit Lions extended their record to 5-1 to start the year with a 20-6 victory over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday afternoon. Good teams in the NFL win by playing complementary football, and that's precisely what the Lions did. All game long, Detroit's defense did an excellent job of keeping the Buccaneers out of the end zone and restricting their offense to only 251 total yards. At the Bucs' 12-yard line, they forced an early takeaway on a Will Harris interception off a tipped throw from Isaiah Bugs, which led to Detroit's game opening Riley Patterson 30-yard field goal. The Bucs had just 46 rushing yards and only two third-down conversions throughout the whole game. The Buccaneers' defense was the best the Lions had seen through their first six games, but Jared Goff, the quarterback, was excellent the entire game, completing throws into small windows to extend drives and sprinkling in a few spectacular plays along the way. Detroit has now won 14 straight games with at least 20 points. Eamon Ra, a wide receiver late in the first half, St. Brown scored the game's first touchdown on a 27-yard catch and run that was set up by outstanding blocking from running back Craig Reynolds. After Reynolds completely wiped out Bucks CB Carlton Davis 3, St. Brown was able to turn the corner and walk into the end zone to give Detroit a 10-3 lead after he grabbed the ball at the Bucks' 20-yard line. Late in the third quarter, wide receiver Jamison Williams scored from 45 yards out for Detroit, increasing their lead to 17-6. It was an outstanding catch that required him to compensate for a poorly thrown ball.